If you're looking at this game that's on my screen right now, you might decide to just immediately write it off. I mean, obviously this is a game for like five year olds. And that was my first assumption too. I've been seeing it in my Steam store for years at this point, but I thought, wow, this is really stupid. I'm not gonna waste my money on this. You're just spinning a fidget spinner around. And well, this spring sale, it was on sale for $2 and I've been seeing it forever so I finally decided to buy it and oh my god if it didn't surprise me. So this is what it looks like at the start. Uh, you kind of get a general idea of what this game is hiding when you look at everything that's locked and you look at all of these skills, abilities, and then this locked here, this is the talent tree. So if we go out of this and go over into my main save, which I've been playing for about two hours, you'll kind of start to see what this game really is. So this is my main save. Um, I'm at over a million RPM. I've got a bunch of stuff. My inventory window is all big now, but you can adjust things. The UI is very nice in this game. Everything is very adjustable. Okay, I've got my inventory. I've got my equipment page. You can look at this. You can see that everything is a bunch of different rarities. Um, I've got gems socketed. If I go in here and go to the socket, you can see I have gems socketed in here. So yeah, this game is very deep. Uh, more so than I think it deserves. Honestly, the packaging for this game is entirely terrible. I feel like if this game was packaged in a way that appealed more to people that would like RPG games like this, this would game would have done a lot better on Steam. It currently has a like a little over a hundred reviews, I think. I think it deserves more. It's really cheap, um, and it has quite a lot of stuff to do. There's vendors and they're random, so like occasionally they'll come and you see these are leaving in a couple minutes and they sell random, random-ish items. Um, like this one sells ores and this one sells blacksmithing materials. I can go to my skills here. You can see that every ability has a talent tree. With this is a meta talent down here, which has infinite scaling, but I'm just working on getting everything up now. But there's a significant amount of grind here. Uh, so if you're bored with auto games and you want to try something else, come play this. So I can just spin like I was doing in the other save. I just spin and increase my RPM by a bit. I mean, it's a significant amount, but I also have these macros. So right now, these macros are giving me copper, ore, and stone. And this one is my resting macro because this is our stamina here. So if I just pop this macro in the queue, there's a rest at the end because it consumes some stamina. There is a lot of where I am right now. There's not much automation, but I know for a fact that there is automation in the game, at least of some kind. There's an analyze ability feature so I can drop a macro into here and it'll tell me that I get 8.5 max casts per minute plus 17 stamina per minute. I gain 50 stone and 50 copper every minute, and I gain 2,000 mining XP every minute. So that's pretty cool, I like that. But if I go to engineering here, and go to skill info, you can see the art of automation. Uh, obviously I haven't gotten that far into engineering yet. I'm gonna assume it gives me some availability to automize everything, uh, at least somewhat, but I can go down in here and move my macro back. There are a lot of macro slots, I think. Right now I only have the two unlocked. Uh, I've been working on, I need to get jewel crafting up because I'm still on the stone here and that's kind of annoying. I don't really like doing that. So I've just been trying to grind out materials. There's a lot of storage. So this is just my inventory, my backpack, but I do have storage right now. I only have the material storage, but it can store a bunch of each material in the game. Right now I don't have any of these unlocked, so it's not storing them, but just like get a general idea of how many materials there are. Like for a game that's $2 and is a fidget spinner is the main billing of the game, this is a lot more than I was assuming that it would be in this game. I bought this game as a joke and it's like actually really good in terms of an auto game experience. Now what I really call it an idle game, eh, I think it's in the same vein as mobile idle where you can leave it, but you do kind of need to interact with it to get make progress. Uh, right now I'm just going to work on getting this up. You can see that there's a lot of stats here on the side, and there's also a wiki that can be opened in game. It opens it in game, and you can just scroll through and figure out what's going on. You can find out everything about all the stats, what each of them do. It's very, very good, very cool. Uh, there's tips and tricks in here. Oh, and you can put it on night mode, which is important. This one, this doesn't look like it's been updated. Oh yeah, no, it's here. So yeah, there's there's a few things here. There's planned updates. There's another thing. The creator of this game is constantly, constantly updating it. Uh, it just went into full release at the end of last year. So there's been some good updates to this game. From my understanding, a lot of the reviews were saying, talking about how receptive the dev is to feedback and he listens to community. Apparently these texts up here are AI. Some of them are AI generated. So uh, some people were complaining about that. So he put in a warning at the start of the game to say that they're AI generated and there's an option to turn it off now. That doesn't really bother me. It's not really like getting in the way or taking someone's job. So I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Sometimes they can be pretty funny. Um, but yeah, you can see how insane this background is looking now while I'm just gathering stone and things like that. 
But yeah, there's a lot of micromanaging. All the stats on all the gear is random. You can see that some of them have special effects depending on what they're made of. Like these are made of copper, so they give me extra gold every time I roll. And I have these insane gloves that was really lucky to get. And they give a bunch of stuff. Six gold multiplied by the order of magnitude when rolled. So if I just like do anything, I gain gold now. So I'm gaining a lot of gold very quickly, which was a problem early on that I was having. So yeah, you can see that I'm getting a lot of rolls just by doing anything. That's from the, I forget what strength that is. I think it's this, the strength of stone adds RPM on every ability cast. That's doing some of it. But now my, when I do is doing, so I'm going to spin and get 25,000 RPM. So yeah, you can see it's getting crazier by the second now. The background, um, it looks actually pretty nice. I kind of like it. It's not to the point where it hurts my eyes, really. It's like a like a fractal pattern kind of deal. I like it. It looks nice. But yeah, just working on grinding materials. You can see I have an ability queue here, and it's pretty big. You can actually make it larger as well, and you can increase the amount of abilities that can be held in the macros, which is pretty nice. To give you an, an idea of what you gotta, gotta pay attention to, you can see I do stone, copper, stone, copper. The reason I'm doing it that way is because if I go in here into my talent tree and go into mining, you can see every time you mine an ore that's a different type from the ore type you most recently mined, gain plus one additional ore per point in this talent. Um, so I'm getting two extra ore every time I mine, um, like back and forth. I'm going to increase the size of my material storage and I'm going to increase my unlock the blacksmithing storage so now I can store ores and stuff. I can click deposit materials right here and it'll deposit everything. So that's really nice. I love games that make organization extremely easy. I'm going to level this up again because this gives me some extra stuff. It gives me prowess which increases all of my stats. Um, you can see here I'm getting 50 right now. So if I just cast another ability it'll go up to 75 and now I'm getting two extra stats to so all of my stats which is kind of helpful. Competency is like like your general skill so this has a bunch of stuff in it that's like increase your storage increase all stats resting gives you a buff increase stat gains from skill levels stuff like that i think i'm going to increase my max stamina you also get a general bank at some point so if you have items you don't really want in your inventory but you do want to store you can stick them in there and that works. Yeah, I mean, you're you're watching the background evolve as I'm playing right now. Um, it's getting pretty bonkers because I'm, I'm coming up on 1.5 million RPM and we just passed it right now. This game is currently $2.39. If you have the $2.39 to, you, you should buy this game. I'm not even joking. This game is really good. It's a really great time waster. I'm um, just sitting here in the morning eating breakfast and sipping my coffee. And I just have this open on my main monitor, just clicking away. And it's a really great time waster. I would really recommend this game. If you love idle games like Melvor or Cookie Clicker, if you just got out of Cookie Clicker, you want something a little more engaging, but Melvor Idol's a little too in-depth for you. It's too complicated. Um, Because there is a lot in that game, so that's entirely understandable. I would highly recommend this game. Played for about two hours on the save. The background visuals I really like. It's obviously very in-depth. There's still three whole tabs I haven't unlocked yet. There's macros, which make it easy to do everything without having to click a billion times. Um, there's, a ta there's talent trees, which make the grind more interesting. There's a bunch of skills, uh, there's inventory grinding, there's equipment rolling, there's random uh, skills and random attributes on your equipment. Um, there's random equipment qualities. I forget what it's called, but the more you make one item, the better the item is. So the more you craft it, the better it gets. And I think there is a way later on where you do actually have the ability to drop rare items, whether it's in some kind of combat or something, I'm not sure. But I saw that in the tutorial and I just wanted to get this video out now because I really think everyone should buy this game if you can afford it and it's going Going off sale on the 21st and I'm not going to be able to make videos the 21st because I'm going to be in recovery after surgery. So yeah, if you have $2 instead of buying like a uh, Pepsi, buy this game. It's pretty solid. I've been Captain Blamo. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more videos and I'll see you next time. Peace.